my name is Katie. This is Levy Park On Demand Family Storytime and Craft. Today I'm going to be reading Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the classic story. Way up at the North Pole there is a special place called Christmas Town. Families of reindeer live in cozy caves. Elves work at the factory making presents for children. In Santa's castle, Mrs. Claus makes sure he eats plenty so that his holiday suit fits just right. Everyone loves living in Christmas Town, except for one year when the weather was so bad that Christmas was almost canceled. One spring, Donner, the lead reindeer who helped pull Santa's sleigh each Christmas became a proud papa. He and his wife named their son Rudolph. Soon after little Rudolph was born, his tiny red nose began to glow. Great bouncing icebergs, exclaimed Santa when he saw this. If Rudolph's nose continued to glow, Santa said, he would never make the sleigh team when he grew up. Donner taught Rudolph all the things a young reindeer needed to know, especially to be aware of the abominable snow monster. All the while, he hid Rudolph's nose under a cover and hoped it would someday stop glowing. As the months went by, the elves were busy making Christmas toys. All the elves loved their work except for one. Hermie just didn't have a knack for toy making. Maybe that's because he dreamed of becoming a dentist one day. This made him feel like a misfit among his fellow elves. Rudolph felt like a misfit too. He didn't like the nose cover he had to wear. Without it, his nose glowed as, a, as brightly as ever, but Donner was determined to keep that a secret. On the day of the annual reindeer games, Rudolph met Clarice, a pretty young doe. When Clarice said she liked him, Rudolph was so excited that he flew through the air with joy. Flying was exactly what Comet, the coach, was trying to teach the young reindeer. Everyone was amazed by Rudolph until his nose color cover fell off. All the other reindeer, except for Clarice, laughed at Rudolph and called him names. Comet said, from now on, we won't let Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Rudolph went off by himself, feeling sad. At the toy factory, Hermie was having trouble too. He skipped elf practice so he could fix doll's teeth, thinking he might fit in better that way. When the foreman found out, he yelled, come to elf practice and learn to wiggle your ears and chuckle warmly and do important stuff like that, or you'll never fit in. But Hermie just couldn't. He ran away instead. Before long, Hermie and Rudolph met and shared their stories they decided to go off into the world together. You don't mind my red nose? asked Ray Rudolph. Not if you don't mind my, me my being a dentist, replied Hermie. It's a deal, said Rudolph. On their first day, they heard the abominable snow monster's terrible roar. He must have seen your nose, cried Hermie. The two friends tried to stay far ahead of the monster. Soon they met Yukon Cornelius and his dog sled team. Yukon was looking for gold, but he found Rudolph and Hermie instead. Then Rudolph's glowing nose let the abominable snow monster find them all. Thanks to Yukon's quick thinking, they escaped on an ice floe. The ice flow carried them to the island of misfit toys, a place filled with odd toys. The ruler of the island, King 
Mall Racer said, A toy is never truly happy until it is loved by a child. Rudolph promised the king that someday he would tell Santa about all these homeless toys. Maybe Santa would include them in his Christmas deliveries to children around the world. Rudolph asked King Moon Racer if he and his friends could stay on the island of misfit toys. The island is not for living things, said the king. It's only for misfit toys. How do you like that? Said Yukon, even among misfits, we're misfits. The king let the friends rest overnight before they moved on. When Hermie and Yukon were asleep, Rudolph slipped away, knowing that his nose would put them in constant danger with the abominable snow monster. He didn't want to be the cause of any harm to his friends. The abominable snow monster did indeed find Rudolph because of his glowing nose. He chased the young reindeer everywhere. During that time, Rudolph grew up. One day, he realized it was time to go home. Meanwhile, Rudolph's parents and Clarice had been out looking for him ever since he left. It was now two days before Christmas Eve, and Santa told Rudolph that without Donner, he'd never be able to get on his sleigh off the ground. Rudolph was determined to find his parents and Clarice. As he began to look for them, the storm all of all storms hit. Thick snowflakes fell, making it hard to see. Rudolph had an idea where his parents and Clarice were. In the cave of the abominable snow monster, he made his way there despite the storm and found Clarice in the monster's clutches. Put her down, Rudolph cried. The abominable snow monster did and went after Rudolph instead. Yukon and Hermie, who had been searching for their friend, arrived at the cave just in time. Quickly, they lured the monster outside and knocked him out with a big rock. Then Hermie removed all of the monster's teeth. Finally, Hermie got to be a dentist. When the bottomless snow monster woke up, Yukon pushed him back and back and back until the monster Yukon and his dogs all slipped over the edge of the cliff. Rudolph and his friends and family were heartbroken when they returned to Christmas Town. When the others heard the entire story, they realized that those who are different are important too. They all apologized to Rudolph and Hermie. The foreman even told Hermie he could open up his own dentist's office, and Santa agreed to find homes for all of the misfit toys. Just then, there was a knock at the door. It was Yukon, his dogs, and the abominable snow monster. Even though they had all gone over the cliff, the abominable snow monster was able to bounce, and so they had all landed safely. Now, the monster was no longer mean. He even got a job. He placed the star on top of the Christmas tree. Everyone cheered. The next day was the next day was Christmas Eve, but the weather was so bad that Santa could not fly his sleigh safely through it. He reluctantly started to tell everyone that Christmas was going to be canceled for the first time ever. But then he realized that there was a way through the storm after all. Rudolph, Santa said, you and that wonderful nose of yours, that nose can cut through the murkiest storm. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? 
Rudolph replied, it will be an honor, sir. The sleigh was loaded. The reindeer got into place and Santa climbed aboard. Rudolph took the lead and the sleigh took off. Santa's first stop, the island of misfit toys. Everyone had an extra Merry Christmas that year and Rudolph went down in history as the greatest reindeer of all time. The end. Hi, thanks for joining us today for our Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the classic story. I really hope you enjoyed hearing Katie read this classic book. I loved this book as a child and I still love this book as an adult. And today we are going to do a really cute, simple craft. Um, the supplies that you will need for this home craft today, um, this is what our little reindeer is gonna look like. What you'll need is a paper clip, just a ribbon, any kind of ribbon you have at home that you want to tie around your reindeer's, reindeer's neck. We've got a red pom-pom along with the pom-pom. We've got two little small googly eyes and we have pipe cleaners and some glue. For the feet on here, this is just a black sharpie and I'll show you how to create that as well. Pretty simple supplies that you need at home to create this and we're going to go ahead and get started gonna leave that reindeer here in my little baggie here with the supplies I'm gonna show you I'm gonna open this up and show you what all I have in here we're gonna start with just a simple classic clothespin they're different size clothespins so whatever you have at home or whatever you like to get to create your reindeer um, I've got like a medium sized clothespin here and to create the little reindeer little antlers here pretty simple I just got a pen that I had at home just a basic pen and you're gonna take your pipe cleaner here and what you're gonna do is you are going to just start wrapping your pipe cleaner around the pencil around the pencil or pen whatever you have I just started doing that and just depends on how far or how squiggly you want it I just leave a little bit out at the end because that is what's going to go in the clothespin. So what you'll do is you'll open the clothespin and you're going to put that in and then what I'll do is slide that out so that's going to be one of the antlers there. I'm going to then open my bag and I'm going to get the other one out and we'll get him started. Again just your classic pipe cleaner. We'll start wrapping that. We'll just take it around. I like to kind of measure to see how far down I did on the other one. So I'll take the other out just to see how much. This one I could wrap a little bit more so it's a little even. And I think that makes us about even here. So what I'll do is now we've got our little antlers. What I do here, I take the base of them so they don't slide out of the clothespin. I take the base and I just twist them together so they stay together. Once they're in here, I add just a tad bit of glue on the inside to hold them in because you don't want them to fall out. So what I do is take my glue and I just open it up and I just put a little strip of glue on both sides. And I take this and I put it and open up the clothespin. And put that in there. And now starting to look like a reindeer so we'll take that the next thing I do on here is I have a little ribbon you can use any type of ribbon again that you have at home this was just some little um, packing you know little paper little ribbon that I had so I'm gonna take it and kind of where you see the metal on the clothespin is where I will start wrapping this to create the little scarf that the reindeer is wearing. So I just wrap that a couple of times here around to cover that. And you can, again, leave the ribbon hanging. You can wrap it to make it flat like mine. And then what I do just to make sure this stays on is you can tie it if you're using ribbon. Since I'm using a little fabric or a little material here, 
I am going to glue this so it doesn't come loose. So I'll add just a tad bit of glue here. And then we've got the ribbon here. Now just above the ribbon, I'm going to take one red pom-pom. I love these little pom-poms. They are so cute to do different crafts at home. Um, and you can find a variety packs with different colors so you can create different crafts. But this one, I'm going to use the red, and this is going to be for the nose. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, remember? So we're going to add a little glue here. And this is going to be Rudolph's nose. So we're going to put this on here. And it may take a minute for it to dry because the pom-pom's a little heavy. So just keep that in mind. You'll want to give your craft time to dry before you pick it up to play with it. Then I have two small googly eyes. I have these in here just so I don't lose them because they're really tiny. So I've got them wrapped up. Again, it's a bit windy out today, so I want to keep everything all nice and neat. So I'm going to open this up and take one of the googly eyes out. To attach this, I'm going to use some glue. So I'll take one out right now. And we're going to add just a tad bit of glue on. We're going to put it just above, just above his nose. And actually what I can do is I'll put it just a drop of glue on here for the second eye. And then we'll get the second eye here. They're all caught inside of my storage here. Okay. Sorry, I've got my eye stuck here. All right, so we've got the other googly eye that we're gonna put right here. We are creating Rudolph, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, the only other thing that I did on here was I created his feet. And what I do with that is I take my Sharpie and what you'll do on here is the base of the clothespin has a little ridge down here. I just take the Sharpie and just color that bottom little piece. This is where the, what the feet look like. And then I take my Sharpie and I just take, just draw a line up to create the legs. So, simple little craft. You've got your antlers here. You've got your Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with our googly eyes and the little ribbon around. And you can create several of these at home. I hope you enjoyed making this craft with me just as much as I enjoyed doing this for you and with you today. Um, to find out more information on our crafts, oh, I lost the little nose. Again, remind, remember I told you that it may be a little wet, so you may want to let it sit a little while before you stand him up. So I'm going to lay him back down so his can dry. And then again, the finished product, once it's dry, will look like this, and you can pick it up and play with it. To find out more information on this, you can check out our social media. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and it's Levy Park. Um, you can also visit us on our website at levyparkhouston.org. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful afternoon.